So, uh, this is going to be the, sort of part three of the master move. And so, again, I'll explain the idea. It's an idea that I have of feel versus real. So, I think what people feel is forces, and what people say is real is what somebody else is seeing happen. So, when you think about that, probably the reason that developed is coaches sit and watch somebody swing a golf club. They can't feel what the person's doing, but they can see where things are going. And so they attempt to align somebody to a picture they have in your mind. So if you let somebody do that to you, what you're doing is let somebody else tell you what reality is. Now, what you're feeling is not real. What I'm seeing is what's real, and you've got to line up to what I'm seeing. So you can see why that would be not only ineffective, but annoying for somebody to have somebody else tell them this is reality what you perceive isn't reality so what you need to do for yourself is understand that reality internally is when and where you apply force and what you feel kinesthetically in your body there's very little you can see in a golf swing from your own point of view other than kind of what's in front of you and it's sort of mostly a blur um, and you can, if you pay attention, you can see the path the club is coming in on. But that's kind of mostly what you can see. So that's something visually you can work on. You know, see the club coming in on um, this path. You can see that. You can't see face angle. You, if you're swinging a trainer, you can see face angle quite easily. But uh, with your club, you can't. So you can swing a trainer and then start to understand that face angle is related to what's happening here and learn to be aware of that. But let's go back to part three, the master move. So heave up, let it drop, rotate. So Mo Norman said, first move is one foot drop straight down. What he meant is I apply no force on the club for the first foot of the swing. So what, everything that's happening in the first foot is not applying any force. It's just letting gravity drop this. So it makes sense, right? If you go to apply force, the club will do something. So if you want a club that is sort of maintaining its position, what you need to do is drop not, not just the club, but your body all together and then apply force. So what is that going to feel like? Here's another way to feel that I think. So when you see a good golfer they establish a plane and then they swing through right on the plane, right? And so you see that and you think I need to apply my force at the ball and I'm coming into the ball this way so I need to apply force that direction. It would make sense logically, but it doesn't actually work. So here's where you want to apply force actually, and in what direction. So you want to apply force straight back. First move is this way, throwing that way, not throwing to the inside, throwing that way. The extension of your arm will bring the club around. Gravity, so you throw a little up and that way because gravity is going to work to bring the club down. So you should feel like you're thro throwing relatively high to where you want to land. So apply force a little high. You let it land. You drop in there. And then conversely, you should feel when you're coming into the ball, not like you're coming straight at it. You should actually feel like you're going down first, as if you're coming at the ball with a pattern that's like this. So it should feel down and then horizontal. And not horizontal coming straight this way, but actually applying force this direction. So you apply force this way and then this way. And the reason that is, is it's the same thing happening in reverse as happens in the backswing. You're going this way, but then the club squares up. So if you apply force horizontally, you're going to end up going that way. So apply force that way and this way. 
So it feels like down and then flat all the way through, almost like this. So now I'll show you what that looks like at speed. So as you can see at speed, I'm feeling that way. I'm feeling it drop down and then I'm feeling rotation through. But what it ends up looking like is a swing that is basically on plane and on plane. So that's how you achieve that. That's how you apply force if you want to achieve that. So force this way and up, let it drop. That's passive. You can't really apply force down without actually making yourself less grounded. So that's not what you want to do. You want to apply force. You want to drop down. And as you drop, you actually become more grounded. Then you have something to rotate with, right? You need a lot of friction, which means add weight, gain friction, and then rotate through.